Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym and Wellness. Today's tip of the day comes to you from Carol. Um, she is a gym member of the gym, and um, she, um, I mean, we, we tapped on it on this uh, subject back on DK TV. For those of you that are familiar with that, that's a internet TV show that um, I, I do, um, and on my YouTube. Uh, channel you can catch those episodes that we've already recorded um, but uh, I tapped on this and um, you know Carol was like oh yeah that's right so you know she was like well maybe you might need to you know do another you know tip or another video or something like that just kind of reiterating bringing it more to the forefront of uh, people's minds and so forth um, so you know I thought you know that that's an actually uh, you know a good um, thing so here it is Basically, you know, I've been, you know, ribbing Carol all week um, because she just got back from Mexico on Wednesday and, or I guess Tuesday. So Wednesday was her first day back. She planned on getting to the gym. Didn't happen. Thursday, she planned on getting to the gym. It didn't happen. Friday, she planned on getting to the gym. Didn't happen. So today, actually, I did kick her butt in Tabata class um, at the gym. But so those three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, her intention was to come, as always, to the gym at lunchtime. Well, she couldn't make it because while she was away on vacation, and we've all been there when we go away on vacation, someone is supposed to do our job and they don't do our job and then we're screwed and we're left to not only do our job that we have to do today, but you know, the, the week's worth of work that they didn't do. So, you know, it, it's, she says, you know, it's so hard to get to the gym, then what do I do? So, in that case, this is, this is the thing, okay? I, I've said it before, y'all have heard me say it, and I just feel like a broken damn record. Working out one hour of your day is only 4%, okay? Even a half hour. If you can only give me, quote unquote, give yourself a half hour, it's it's two percent of your day you surely 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 can find two percent of your day to give to yourself um, you know so and what happens is sometimes Carol comes in the morning if she knows certain things are gonna happen but if she plans on and we we're all there that's why personally I get my workout done very early in the morning and then anything that happens during my day can happen during my day so one you know Carol had asked you know what can I do to make you know make myself get into the gym uh, you know when things like this happen that's the perfect and prime example of what you should do uh, if you want me to actually tell you what to do, I will tell you what to do. I tell you to get your ass up in the morning and get into the gym or, you know, whether it's a gym, you know, a, a outside gym, your home gym, a DVD, something. Do it before your day starts. And then, guess what? The husband, the wife, the kids, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, the work, whatever it is, can just happen because now you don't have to be like oh my god I can't get to the gym oh my god what am I gonna do you know so you get that done and you know whether it's a half hour an hour before yes okay so you have to get up an hour before time well guess what at least you have your workout in and then by the end of the day you're not saying damn it I didn't get my workout in okay so getting up an hour early you know or a half hour early or whatever to get your workout in so that you're you know kind of fueled I mean for me it fuels me for the rest of my day it gives me the energy it you know helps release those stress you know things and releases endorphins and you know you just get you just feel better once your workouts done you feel better you're so happy and glad that it's over and done with get it done in the morning so you know, sometimes though you know Carol says okay well I know I'm gonna be able to make it in the afternoon like at lunchtime and so if that happens you know, so you don't you so you're planning on that happening so you don't come in in the morning and then what happens is somebody screws something up at work and you have to work through your lunch and fix it or whatever and so then five o'clock comes you go to punch out whatever and you go straight home granted I know you're tired you're probably frustrated what better time 
to come to the gym than when you're frustrated and angry about work. You know, you get you're getting that that frustration out, and you're lifting, you know, lifting the weights, doing your run, you know, on the arc trainer, on the rower, whatever it might be. You know, um, that's actually going to help you, and that's actually going to help you go home and unwind, and you know, be there with your family. So you get off work at five o'clock and you haven't yet done your workout, don't just go home. Call the husband, call the wife, call the kids, whatever, and say, look, you know, I wasn't able, something came up at work, something, you know, I wasn't able to get my workout in at lunchtime, you know, I'm going to be home a half hour later, I have to get this in. You know, I mean, what would be any different if you called your wife or your husband and said, um, you know, I have to drop the kids off, I'm gonna be half hour late, I'm gonna drop the kids off here. What's the difference? Okay, it, it, what? So it's okay to drop the kids off. You feel that it's okay to drop the kids off, but it's not okay to do something for yourself. It is okay to do something for yourself. And damn it, you need to do something for yourself, especially women. A lot of women over the years that I've trained, they find it so hard to do something for themselves. They're always out pleasing, you know, their spouse, um, their kids, you know, co-workers, I mean everybody, friends, and when it comes to themselves, a lot of times they do not take the time to, to for themselves. Um, and you, you have to. If you don't take the time for yourself, and I'm running into that, you know, there's, there's times where, you know, a couple of my close friends know that, you know, I'm running into some times too where if I don't take that time for me, I'm like, ugh, you know, inside, y'all may not see it, but inside, you know, you need that time for you to not be the mom, to not be the husband, to not be the the wife, to um, to not be the dad, whatever, to not be you know the the worker, the secretary, the you know the whatever you know whatever your job is. You need that time to just be Danny, Carol, Mary Sue. Okay, so I need you all to promise me that that's what you're going to do. And if you don't get up and get your workout in in the morning because you plan on doing it lunchtime and then something falls through at lunchtime, damn it, do it after work. Okay, if it's okay to call the, you know, the, the spouse or the boyfriend, the girlfriend, whatever, and say, hey, I'm going to be a half hour, 45 minutes late because I'm going to go grocery shopping or, you know, I have a doctor appointment, or I have to take the kids somewhere, then it should be damn good and well, good enough reason to be a half hour, 45 minutes late from coming home that you have to go to the gym, okay? The spouse, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, they should support this. You know, be like, look, honey, I understand you didn't get your workout in. I want you to get your workout in. I'll take care of, I'll take, you know, Billy Bob to, you know, soccer, or I'll have dinner ready when you come home. You know, text me when you're on your way, whatever. You know, the support has to be there. You know, we support each other, you know, like in families, you know, to take the kids and do groceries and do, you know, doctor appointments. The support should be there for taking care of ourselves and doing the gym. Okay, so you know, especially the women, definitely please promise that you're going to do that. If you don't get up and get your workout in early in the morning, first thing in the morning, and your day falls through and you don't get it in during lunchtime, you know, if that's a workout plan day, you have to get it in. You cannot skip. You don't skip a doctor appointment, you don't skip a dentist appointment, you don't skip taking your kids to soccer practice or cheerleading practice, don't skip the gym. Promise me that you're going to not skip the gym. You don't, you don't skip on everybody else, don't skip on yourself. If, that is, if there's only one takeaway that you get from this, don't skip on yourself. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated, bye.